Hello, my pretties. What's the difference between residual income and ordinary income? My website, by the way, is TomBerkenmeyer.com, just like it's spelled here, TomBerkenmeyer.com. The difference is ordinary earned income is income that you have to keep showing up for so that it keeps coming in. That could be your job and even most self-employed people. Residual and passive income is the opposite of that. Residual and passive income is your time is now decoupled from your income, and your income comes in anyway, and you can do whatever the fuck you want with your time. It's freedom. So one is freedom, one is slavery. <laughs> so how does that translate into day-to-day -day life? We can probably already start to imagine how that translates. So on the one end, ordinary income, your job, most self-employed people, you've got bills, they're residual, but you don't have residual money. So what it looks like with residual bills that you're trying to pay with ordinary income is, you show up somewhere and you get paid and you pay your bills. Whoops, I think it froze. So with um, ordinary income, you show up somewhere, you get paid and you pay your bills. But next month, there's another round of bills coming. So you gotta keep showing up so you can pay your bills. But up oh, next month, there's another round. And it keeps, it's the never ending perpetual cycle. It's the hamster, the proverbial hamster wheel paycheck for the hamster wheel life. And you're a human being living like a hamster. So that's what ordinary earned income is. And then residual income, the flip of that. It's uh, your time is decoupled from your income. So you got bills that keep coming every month, just like with your other income. So the bills are consistent. That's like, that's the common denominator, residual bills. They happen every month. Every month there's a new round of bills. But if you have residual income, the residual income keeps coming in too, and you don't need to show up for it. It's just there, it covers you. So you can go on a trip, you can travel, you could do whatever you wanna do, whatever the fuck you want with your time or whoever you wanna spend your time with. Um, or you can keep your job because you like it or get rid of it, it doesn't matter because you're a free human being at that point. So it took me personally about two and a half years. So the, the main thing that keeps people from getting residual income is it requires an upfront investment. You have to do something upfront to get it. And it could take a couple of years. It took me two and a half years. But then once I got to a certain point, I emerged to some future point, which is now a past point, a free human being. That took place in February of 2010. I started my residual money journey in August of 2007. So from August of 2007, doing it about 20 minutes a day, that's important because you're busy, but 20 minutes a day, me personally, from August of 2007 to February of 2010, two and a half years, that's when I emerged at a point where it's like, I don't need a job anymore. And at this point, and that was a long time ago, that was many, many years ago. And um, it's still true to this day. So I invite all of you to Google residual income, Google passive income. And then once you learn it, if you really understand it, you will put forth that upfront investment of your time, even if you love your job and you have no desire to get rid of it. It doesn't matter. If you understand residual and passive income, Google it. You will you will do the upfront work to get it so that you can be a free human being. And that's true each and every time with everybody that learns it and, and really understands it. Hope that made sense for you. You can also go to my website and learn about it too. You don't have to just go to Google, but TomBerkenmeyer.com. I've got a search engine there. You can type in residual. You can type in passive in the search engine. And I've got tons of content, videos and blog posts about it. And if you want to see what I've been doing since August of 2007 to create my residual income that set me free, uh, just ask me for a blog that I wrote. I've combined natural organic health so a natural lifestyle, healthy lifestyle, natural health, and residual income. That, if that turns you on, just ask me for the blog that I typed out about it. It's about 10 minutes worth of reading pretty quick. And then if you like that, you can tell me if you want to do it. Okay? That's all I've got for you. No, that's not true. I'll end, I'll end on this note. Hello. I'll end on the note of residual income also translates to protection for you and your family. Residual income is protection for you and your family. And it's also the funding of a dream. It's also the springboard onto if there's something you wanna do that costs a lot of money and takes up a lot of your time. It can be the springboard for anything that you want as well as the funding of a dream and, and the protection for you and your family. Uh, ordinary income translates to you put your family at the highest risk possible. and. How is that? 
Well, what is risk? Risk is the less control you have over something, the higher the risk. Well, you have zero control over ordinary income. That's decided by literally by other people. So zero control means highest risk possible. Whatever your job title is, change it right now to professional gambler with your family's livelihood. So that's how ordinary earned income translates into the context of security. Your entire family's protection is at risk. With residual income, you have full-on control. So you have real protection for you and your family as well as the funding of a dream or a springboard for whatever you want.